In this video tutorial, I'm going over the steps on creating a Turnitin assignment in e-learning. This type of assignment allows the instructor to view any plagiarized work in a submitted student paper using the anti-plagiarism tools integrated into e-learning from Turnitin.com. The steps include First, we have to create and define the requirements for a Turnitin assignment in the e-learning course page. Then the student submits the assignment using e-learning. Once the assignment has been submitted, the paper then is scanned by Turnitin.com and a plagiarism score is given. Then the instructor opens the scanned paper and views the plagiarized sections as well as makes comments and submits feedback and posts the grade in e-learning. To create a Turnitin assignment, we go to the course, in this case I have a temporary course, and then click on Turn Editing On. After we turn Editing On, then we scroll to the section where we want to post the assignment. We click on Add an Activity or Resource, and then under Activities, choose Turn It In Assignments. Then click on Add. Now we give a name to this assignment, and this is what will be posted on the front page of the course. And then under summary, we post the requirements for this assignment, including the rubric that you're going to use for grading this paper. Then under the assignment type, we have the choice for file upload for online submission. Usually it's going to be a file upload where the students will save the assignment in their computer and then upload it to e-learning. The number of parts, this is basically if you are requiring the students to submit multiple parts to the same assignment, usually this is going to be one. Then the file size, that should be sufficient. The overall grade, this is how you're going to grade this assignment. If it's a one-page assignment, then probably give them less points. If it's a major paper, then grade it against 100 points. Student originality reports, this is basically, will you allow the students to see the score for plagiarism once it's been determined by Turnitin after they submit their assignment? This is up to you. You can choose yes or no. The default is yes. Allow late submissions, this is uh, by default as yes. And then the report generation speed, this is how soon do you want to turn it in to grade or to give you a score for the plagiarism part? Usually this is set to immediately, then checking against student papers, all these options leave them so they get scanned. So it's going to check against peer papers or other student papers, it's going to check against the internet, it's going to check against journals, and you can choose to exclude the bibliography and the quoted material. You can also specify that if it's within certain number of words to skip those words and not mark them as plagiarized. Then we click on save and return to the course. At this point the assignment has been created in e-learning and the system is synchronizing with Turnitin. The assignment is ready for students. Now that the assignment has been created, notice that it will be posted on the front page of the course. The student or you can click on the assignment and under the summary tab it will show the requirements for the assignment it will show the start date the due date and the post date the post date it's when the student can see the posted grade and the posted comments on that assignment if you want the students to see the posted grade and the posted comments earlier than the due date then you need to click on the edit icon here on the right hand side and then change the post date to today's date and then choose save. Other options are submitting papers for other students. So if the student is not submitting the paper on their own, you can upload the paper manually for specific students. And in this case, we can choose the name of the student. And then we post the title for the paper and then upload the file. And then click on Submission. Notice once the paper has been uploaded, it will show up on the name of that student. And then under the status, it's going to show as pending. That's because it takes a few minutes for Turnitin 
to scan the paper against all other web and journals and other resources online. This is where the status or the score is going to be posted. And this was under the submission inbox. We go back to the course here and we'll go to this assignment that I had uploaded earlier so we can see the score. We click on the assignment and then click on the submission inbox. This is an assignment that we had posted earlier. And this is a plagiarism score. So that means that 66% of this assignment has been plagiarized. Grading Turnitin papers. There are a couple ways to grade an assignment. Uh, one of the ways is to click on the actual assignment, or you can go here under Activities and choose Turnitin Assignments. So let's uh, first go under Turnitin Assignments from Activities. Once we see a list of all the assignments, we click on Submissions. So let's say we'll choose this one. Now, if we're going to use the Assignments box, then we need to click on the actual number of submissions here on the right hand side in order to see and grade the assignment. So we'll click on number one here. And then notice there is this assignment posted by IT staff. And this is the score as determined by Turnitin for plagiarism. So this is the, ter the higher the score, the higher the chances that this paper was plagiarized. So to see what was plagiarized, we need to click on the score here. And this will take us to turnitin.com and display all the portions of the assignment that have been plagiarized. Notice there is a brief intro here, how this works. And notice on the right hand side, we have the different resources where this paper was copied from. Notice on the top left, we have the originality. This is the actual score that tells us what was plagiarized and from where. And if we click on each of these sections, notice it displays the portions exactly online where it was copied from and what part of it was copied. This was from this other website. And notice number three, this is from another paper online. So basically the originality checks, checks against resources on the internet, journals, and other student submitted papers worldwide. Now the next thing that we can do here is that we can make comments directly on the paper and the student will access those comments later after the grade has been posted. So to do that, we need to click on grade mark. Once we click on grade mark, at this point, notice that we, we have the actual student paper. And we also have different areas here on the right hand side where we can make different comments. And we can um, insert predefined comments, either by the system or you can create your own as well. So let's say in here, we wanted to insert a comment. And if you can also save this as a new quick mark so that you can reuse it for other students and choose save. Notice that will show up here in the right hand side so that you can reuse it as you go. Note you can move these around where you need to post them. And note as well that there are different other options here on the top right hand side as well. So you'd make all the comments throughout the assignment. And then notice if you want to insert feedback as well, you can click on this right hand, this little button here on the second one on the right. And you can also insert voice comments for up to three minutes in the student paper. Once you have reviewed the paper and made comments in it, you can also post the grade here the right hand side. However, this is only if the student goes online through turnitin.com that can that they can view that score. When you're done with this, you need to go back to e-learning and post the grade from there that I'll show in a second. So once we are done with all this, we click on close on the top right side, leave the page, and then the systems are going to synchronize between e-learning and turnitin. And then to enter the grade, we need to click on the little pen here. 
and then post the grade for the student. Make sure it is very important that you click this check mark, otherwise it does not save the grade that you have submitted for the student. If you want to leave additional comments for the student, you can click on this area here where it says comments and feedback and post additional comments. And that is the whole process for creating and checking this plagiarism score and making comments on a student paper. So if we wanted to go back and grade another student's paper, we'd go back to the submission inbox and then pick another student's paper that might have been uploaded. Again, there will be cases where a student may not be able to see their feedback and the reason for that is because the post date might not be available. And finally, what does it look like for the student for them to view the feedback from an assignment? So let's say this is a student's account and we click, uh, the student will click on their course. They'll scroll down here under the assignment that they have submitted. Then they'll need to click on My Submissions. And by the way, this uh, tutorial will be available for students as well, customized for just students. And under submissions, the students will be able to see the similarity the score by determined by Turnitin, the grade posted for their assignment. And then, however, if they want to see additional comments on their paper that you posted online, they'll need to click on the paper that they have submitted. This will take the student to Turnitin without them having to log in. And this is their submitted paper and then they'll need to click on grade mark. Under grade mark, this is where the comments will be displayed. Comments that we entered earlier. And they will see the score that you posted as well on the top. And that's it.